Hi, Mama Russell here. We are going to be making potato puffs today. And uh, this is great for when you have mashed potatoes left over from a dinner or um, something that you wanna change up the way you serve potatoes. So let's get going. Mixing bowl, I mix one and a half cups of mashed potatoes. You can use mashed potato flakes or the potato flakes that come in a box and make them ahead of time. Or you can use leftover mashed potatoes from like Thanksgiving or if you have mashed potatoes the night before, make a little extra. And so we put those in a bowl. We add three large eggs beaten. We add one, four, one and one fourth cup cheddar cheese. Um, I'm gonna mix all of that together. I have this wonderful new tool that I've um, started using. It's called a Danish whisk and I just love it. Um, a little skeptical at first, but it, for things like this where they're thick, um, it makes it super easy and you can scoop the bottom, make sure you get everything on the bottom. So mix that together. And then I'm going to add um, some pepper. And my kids, uh, my family like uh, garlic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, and that's seasoned to taste. And add a little bit more because my kids are garlic fiends. And um, I'm gonna stir that up. Okay, and obviously you're not gonna wanna taste it because it has raw egg in it. So you're just gonna have to go with your instinct on whether or not to add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder. And a little and bit of garlic. And then I'm going to add um, the green onion. Bacon bits and a little bit of sour cream, about a fourth of a cup. I add that extra. Now the flour and the egg are gonna act as the binder in all of this. It's gonna be like a twice baked potato kind of thing or loaded baked potato. You take your muffin tin that you've greased, lightly greased, so I spray it and then I take a paper towel and wipe each edge so I get all around the corner. And then I take a large spoon, and two large spoons, and I scoop and put it in. You fill them about three-fourths of the way full. You're gonna bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then you're gonna want them to cool for about five minutes before you try to take them out of the muffin tin. But a great way to use leftover mashed potatoes and Thanksgiving is coming, depending on, I guess, when you're watching this video. And let's see. I'm gonna bake them for 35 to, or 30 to 35 minutes in 400 degree temperature. So potato puffs just came out of the oven. Take a knife, go around the edge, pop them out, and you have your potato puff. Um, I'm gonna try to cook this um, when we reheat them in the air fryer, maybe crisp the outside a little bit, but the insides are like a twice baked potato, kinda sorta. So that is potato puffs. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day.